very warm welcome once again and may I hand over to Mr. Schubert. Yeah, welcome again from my side. Question to the cars. Are your cars, are your cars ready, prepared for winter time? Christmas is coming, snow is falling, winter tires are mounted. Yeah. Windscreen yeah. fluid is changed mm -hmm. and you have <coughs> the right fuel in your tanks. Welcome to my presentation of Max Motion Winter Diesel. Okay. <coughs> uh, I will present you now the technical details behind our Max Motion Winter Diesel product. And how I will do this, I will uh, explain you how we are producing this uh, uh, specific winter diesel. I will explain you what, what makes it so perfect that Max Motion is the right choice for this exceptional for winter days. I will explain some details in general about the challenge for diesel cars in winter. And I will summarize afterwards uh, all other benefits of Max Motion because there are much more benefits than only his, his outstanding uh, uh, cold properties. The production of Max Motion. Max Motion is pr uh, produced in the Schwechat refineries there, you can see. Uh, we are producing different quality grades of, of diesel. And we are producing, of course, the standard diesel, which is blended with fame. Uh, we are producing this standard diesel of OMB, which is blended with fame and additional performance additives. And we are producing specific components, diesel components, uh, blended with HVO, an innovative bio component. And additionally, we are adding uh, a specific high amount of our high performance additives. Uh, this is, in, in thus, we are reaching a high C10 number of this fuel and very uh, good cold properties. What's about this specific fuel components of Max Motion? Uh, the OMB Max Motion diesel shows an outstanding performance in the cold flow properties. <coughs> this is why we, because we are using a an, an, an very high amount of, of so-called devox components. What means that devoxing means we are breaking these long chain paraffins in shorter ones, and uh, this is improving the cold properties uh, uh, dramatically. And additionally, we are producing components with a higher C10 number. This provides a smooth engine start during cold conditions, and this decreases engine noise and vibrations, and has additionally an, an excellent combustion behavior. So question, what makes Max Motion Diesel really the perfect choice for, for these cold days? It's the as explained, the special fuel components. It's in addition a an, an, an couple of specific additives. One part is spe specified for these cold properties, another part is specified for additional values I will explain later. And of course, we have an, an innovative uh, uh, buyer component, which is called HVO. It's hydro-treated vegetable oil. The only exception we are not uh, blending this HVO is for Slovakia. It's due to an, an, an legal regulation at the moment. It's not fully recognized, and uh, therefore it's not blended in the fuel uh, for Slovakia. I will now explain something about uh, the, the general challenges for diesel fuel in winter. Diesel fuel is in general a mixture of different hydrocarbons. And its specific behavior is when it gets cold, it starts to build uh, box crystals. It's, these are the paraffins, the long chain paraffins. Yeah? And every diesel fuel starts to build wax crystals. And the point where the first wax crystals are visible is the so called cloud point. And you can see that the product, the fuel, gets turbid a bit. Yeah? The more the temperature goes down, the more of these wax crystals are built. And finally, at a certain point, we called it the cold filter plucking point, there are so many wax crystals that the filter gets plugged and you cannot operate the engine anymore. There is, an, of course, an unspecified test to, to uh, evaluate this value. 
and this is an, 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 an standardized, standardized value uh, between the automotive industry and the mineral oil industry. This is the CFPP value. To show you what happened, uh, I've prepared a picture. On the left side you see this standard diesel fuel, it's bright and clear, it's uh, at the room temperature, you can read at the bottom line. And when it gets colder, you see that the turbidity is higher. First wax crystals are started to build. It's the cloud point. But it's, it's liquid. It's not a problem for the filters, not for the operation of the car. At a certain point, you see it gets more cloudy. There are more wax crystals in the fuel. And at a certain point, of course, there are so many wax crystals that the filter gets blocked and you cannot operate your car. And if you go further, with the if you go down with the temperature at a certain point, it's the poor point, the fuel gets really solid, it's, it's waxy. It's pure wax and, and of course you cannot operate the vehicle in these conditions. I will now go more in detail of the benefits of max motion diesel. And I will start of course with the uh, cold, the benefits for the cold operation, the, the most exciting benefit is this excellent engine start behavior. How can I explain this? I've prepared as well some pictures to show you. These pictures say more than a thousand words. You see on this picture on the right side the OMV Max Motion diesel fuel and on the left side a conventional winter diesel. It's already winter diesel. Yeah, You see uh, at the values that the first wax crystal starts at minus eight and the uh, filtrability is guaranteed down to minus 20. And if you see the values of the max motion winter diesel, first crystals are started uh, with temperatures lower than minus 20, and filtrability is up to minus 35. This is the outstanding performance of this fuel. But to picture it, I, I, I will now change the temperature, and you see what happens. The same fuel with different temperature, it's uh, minus 30 degrees, 30 degrees lower, it's minus 15. And it's not the point where the vehicle gets problem, it's just minus 15. But you see on the left side, the conventional diesel gets it really turbid, yeah, because of, of many wax <coughs> crystals built. And on the, on the right side, the max motion fuel is, is almost clear and bright, no wax crystals are built. And the same behavior is as well with the bio component. The pictures are showing on the right side this HVO, this hydrogen vegetable oil, and on the left side this fame. At room temperature 15 degrees, we do the same, we cool down <coughs> to minus 30 <coughs> degrees, and you can see clear and bright this HVO. Nothing happens. And on the left side, uh, because of the highest uh, CP point, wax crystals are starting sooner to peel, and CFPP is, is uh, minus 12, and you see uh, almost uh, waxy structure of this fame. So you see how important the, the quality of the bio component is for the cold, of the cold behavior of the fuel. But nevertheless, each diesel fuel will have the, the problem at, at uh, certain temperature that box crystals are built. What can we do to improve it? Uh, we are using uh, the so-called uh, cold protection additives. What are they doing? Uh, one part is called the flow improver. It's reducing the size of the box crystals. They are smaller box <coughs> crystals. And the second additive is, is keeping them in suspension. Uh, dispersion, sorry. Yeah. So they will not settle down and they will not block the filter. This is also an, an important improvement of this behavior. All in all, our max motion diesel has reached these exceptional values in starting building box crystals, in providing uh, cold, cold operability by this uh, definitely defined cold filter blocking point up to minus uh, 33 degrees. In comparison to standard diesel, it's very easy to, to show what is the difference because 
we can at the point of minus 20 degrees where the cold filter plugging point is already reached with standard fuel, the max motion diesel uh, starts first time to build crystals. So it's it's really uh, uh, visible what makes the difference. But what means that for the customer? We all know the cars are different, the filter systems are different, tanks are different, the fuel injection system is different, and with the same fuel you will get different results in cold operability. This is the nature uh, of the, uh, the technology side of the cars. But <coughs> nevertheless, cars which could be operated with standard fuel, the same cars which would, which would stop at minus 20 degrees with operation, would be safe with, with max motion up to minus 35. This makes the difference for the customer. But there are some other benefits uh, I will explain beside this outstanding uh, cold operability, operability of this max motion diesel. The second is the clean engine. It's a high customer value as well. And you will see it in some picture. And this is, is uh, not only improving, maximizing the performance or, or minimizing the fuel consumption, it's prolonging the life because engine is really clean is cleaner as you will see. How we can achieve this? This is the, the, the package of additives we have developed and this is consisting of an excellent, this is providing excellent corrosion protection, this is providing a keep clean effect, so that means we, we are, these additives are keeping the relevant engine parts clean, these are fuel injectors, these are uh, uh, other parts in the engine, I will show you some examples. And furthermore, we, we can provide a clean up effect. What means that? That means if you are changing from a an, an standard fuel uh, uh, on your car, and your car is already uh, a kind of dirt up with injectors and other parts, we can provide you a clean up effect. And this already is the first feeling. Step by step, these parts get cleaned, and you will see the relevant pictures on that with the next slide. And further on, this uh, innovative uh, bio component, this HVO, has provides an, 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 an other relevant benefit. Uh, maybe you know uh, the diesel vehicles, most of them have has already particulate filters. They have to be generated. And due to this, this particulate filter regeneration, some fuel gets into the engine oil. And this is uh, a, a specific engine oil dilution by fuel and uh, the conventional bio component stays in the engine oil and this uh, innovative HVO gets out of it because of its lower uh, reparation uh, boiling point. Yeah. So, additional, the, the, there is an improvement on the oil quality uh, pending <coughs> on this bio component. Some pictures to show you these effects. First, the corrosion protection. On the left side, you see uh, corrosion behavior with conventional standard diesel. <coughs> On the right side, you see the, the, the uh, picture of max motion diesel, and you can clearly see some traces of rust and totally free of, of rust. Engine is protected totally by using this max motion diesel. Another uh, impressive picture is the a cleaning effect. A picture is showing a nozzle tip of a diesel injector, <coughs> and on the left side you see uh, the, 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 the deposits and the coating of these needle tips uh, <coughs> caused by standard diesel fuel. And on the right side you see the clean up effect already after 10 hours. The same nozzle tip operated just with changed fuel, max motion, is cleaned up as you can see on the picture. And on the picture below, it's then the keep clean effect. You see a totally clean nozzle, and it's not a fake. If you are using from the very beginning of this uh, uh, max motion diesel fuel, this cleaning effect keeps the parts really clean. And it's not only the, the injection system, it's also parts of exhaust system which, uh, which uh, gets clean, which stays clean. Uh, on the picture you see an, an exhaust control valve and it's several thousand kilometers and it's, it's out of uh, our tests with some testimonials 
and we recognized a an, an, dramatic change in the in the cleanliness of these engine parts because of the use of uh, or the max motion design. So you can clearly see it's not just a um, phrase, it's really happening, uh, the parts are clean. And the third benefit, I'm coming back to this premium beer compound component, it's this HVO, this hydrogen vegetable oil. What's other, what, what are the characteristics of this? Uh, in general, it's a hydrocarbon. Yeah, it's a biofuel which is produced uh, from vegetable oil, and it's produced in a refinery integrated process process by hydro treating. It's free from sulfur. It's free from oxygen, nitrogen, and, and, and aromats, and it provides a high CT number as well as, as good stability and good food uh, characteristics. So it's in our view, it's a real premium bio component and it, it helps to, to improve the performance of the whole fuel. And furthermore, this innovative biocomponent has an additional value. According to the, to the fuel quality directive, you can see the CO2 balance of this biocomponent is by 42% better than conventional fame. So it's not only customer benefits in terms of cold operability or better combustibility, it's even more it's uh, additional uh, benefit uh, of our environmental protection. And if you think about this cleaning effect as well, it, it, this is, I think it's, it's totally clear, I didn't mention that maybe not too clear, clean injectors, clean engine parts are providing the maximum of performance, the minimum of, of uh, uh, fuel consumption and of course minimum of emissions as well. So that means <coughs> this uh, max motion fuel composition is not only an uh, operational value, it's also a value for the environment. <coughs> so uh, this is the, the technique, these are the technical details behind. The winter is coming. I'm sure with max motion we will have an excellent engine start and we'll have this will provide additional the clean engine and this will extend the lifetime of the engine. These are the values which we can really sell to our customers and I'm open now for your questions. <coughs>